Yo, yo, yo. If y'all ain't heard, this nigga Young Thug, King Slime, he's been arrested. Right now, he's somewhere in Georgia, looking at four fucking walls. He old on his ass, not letting him eat. Nigga, apparently, he was doing some Zoom call with the judge and shit while he was in the penitentiary. He's not even in the penitentiary, I'm chatting. But he was in the prison. He had a Zoom call with the judge. He was on that bitch like eight hours. Nigga couldn't even use the bathroom. Nigga tried to ask to use the bathroom. Nigga started laughing at him, but the judge was nice and let him go. Like, shit is crazy right now. Excuse me, Your Honor. May I use the restroom? I, I need to be here. I've, I've been holding it for a long time. <laughs> it's not funny. Y'all, y'all be, yeah, be uh, Yes, sir. I'll, in fact, I'll just take five minutes and you can go ahead. Everybody can. Let me come back, okay? All right. Yes, sir. So YSL, what the fuck is going on with YSL? I thought this shit was a label. Apparently, the prosecutor is jacking that YSL. There's no label. They a gang. Apparently, these niggas have been shooting, robbing, selling dope, crack. Smuggling, they've been doing everything under the book, and now they finally got them. What really happening is, I believe it's either the uh, it's, it's the DA or the prosecutor. I believe it's the DA. She was friends with somebody somebody's mom that unfortunately her son had died, and it was a result of gang beef between YSL and another gang or whatever was going on. Basically, gang beef was going on. Her son ended up dying. The DA was friends with the mom, and the DA made a promise, a pinky promise, a scout's honor. We're gonna arrest these YSL niggas. That's what she said, we're gonna arrest these niggas. That's what she said to the mom, she made a promise. So now, she heavy hidden. So what's really going on in this case? Apparently, there's a letter coming out by Gunna. Gunna basically saying like, yo, I'm not, I'm not even a part of this YSL shit. I ain't ever killed nobody. I had the whole world pushing P. That's what he said in the letter. Y'all can see it right here. He said, I had the whole world pushing P. I, I don't know nothing about this gang shit. Me and Thug are just friends. But then the prosecutor, the prosecutor told the judge, all right, we, we hear, we heard him. We heard what he got to say. But well, fuck all that, nigga. Yeah, we caught y'all niggas. Apparently, there was another case where the cops pull up on them, and it was fucking, it was Thug and Gunner. They were in some fucking Rolls Royce truck, smoking dope, getting high with the bitches. And behind them was the shooters. So, the prosecutor's looking at Gunner, and he's like, if you're not a part of this, why are you rolling around with the shooters? Don't you have a song talking about rolling around with the shooters? You got the shooters behind you? Some shit like that. Man, this shit is crazy. I could have sworn last night, bro. Rolling up some dope, chilling in a crib, a little handy with me. You feel me? I was off that shit. You feel me? And some Casamigos on the side. I was listening to Day Day Shit the Motherfucking Child by fucking Thugger Thug. If y'all ain't heard that song, that shit is a slap and go bum that. Take that to trial. I wonder if these niggas really gonna take this shit to trial, though. Is they really rapping what they live in? Well, according to the prosecutors, they are. These niggas are being charged. Well, Thug is being charged of being like this fucking Tony Montana, this fucking drug lord, this big, big homie. They're trying to attack that he is the leader of YSL and he's sending hits out on people. Bro, I, I, I don't know if I believe this, but looking back, I could have sworn there was an Instagram video when Thug was like, he was talking to YFM Lucci. And this nigga was on his demon shit. He said, if I ain't like the shit you did for your moms, I would have been killed your ass, nigga. Thug was really on his demon shit. I'm going to try to get more information. I'm going to update y'all on what's going on with this YSL indictment. Apparently, the prosecutors is jacking is due to all of the violence and that war, that beef that was going on between YSL and YFN. That's what really brought them under. That's what really brought them down for real. Cause they, they were just keeping tabs, getting data, the cops, 12 feds, but not really the feds, this ain't no fed indictment. This is YSL versus the um state, you feel me? But the state is saying due to the YSL versus YFM beef, they had to hit them hard. They wasn't really going to lock them up like this until later on, until they got more evidence. But these niggas is posting on IG, fucking, they talk, this dumb shit, man. Dumb shit, it, it's sad. It's really fucking sad because Thug was really that guy. Gunner was that guy. All the people watching is like, 
You can't be a gang, nigga. You can't be doing crimes and be a rapper, nigga. Y'all don't see what happens to niggas who do shit like that? Let's look at 2-2-Gs, two, two locked up. Busy Banks, locked up. K-Flock, locked up. What's that nigga, Roddy Rich? They caught that nigga with a gun. He thought he was sweet bringing a gun on a private jet on a PJ. He thought he could just land in New York in a PJ with the, the blicky? They caught that nigga slipping. They said, nah, nigga, we're going to lock you up too. Who's next? The prosecutors want to know who's next, nigga. I'm not going to be next. I'm staying the fuck inside. If you inside with your blicky, it's a good chance they not going to catch you slipping. They caught Busy Banks inside with his blicky slipping, though. They raided his crib, but he, he a popping rapper. If you're going to do this gang shit, just stay low key. I'm not endorsing or saying that you should be doing no criminal activities, but if you're going to do some criminal activities, number one, do that shit at home, do that shit alone, nigga. Let me tell you why you should do that shit alone. On this YSL case, these niggas are saying we already have three motherfuckers saying that we would snitch, but we are afraid that Jeffrey, aka Young Thugger Slime, is gonna come kill us and our families. That's what the prosecutor is saying. So niggas is already snitching type shit. They saying they not, but when the prosecutors look at him and say, you not gonna snitch? It's 25, nigga. There's 20, there's 20 something of them YSL niggas that got locked up. And they're gonna hit them niggas like, yo, here's 30 years. You can either take these 30 years right here, or you could give us a little information. We're gonna change your name. You could get a new ID and you could get the fuck out of Atlanta. You're gonna be free. What you think these niggas gonna do? You think these these grimy ass niggas is, is gonna stay loyal? They not loyal niggas. These is these is street niggas. They don't give a fuck about nothing. They're going to snitch on Young Thugger Slime in an instant. I'm pretty sure they already are. They got his phone tapped. Everything, nigga. This shit. I'm going to get more information. I'm going to update y'all. This is Jeb. I'm out.